Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful, cloudy San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are excited for another wonderful and lovely day. And if you are healthy, you need to rejoice because when you have your health, you can have many, many goals. When you do not have your health, you only have one goal. If you've got your health today, rejoice, get over your bad self, yank the panties out of a bunch, and choose to be grateful today. Gratitude precedes happiness, and so choose today to be grateful. That is going to be your choice. Capiche? Are we ready to roll? Thank you for being with me earlier this morning than normal. I'm getting ready to go facilitate Fight Club. I would tell you what that is, but you know the first rule of Fight Club, right? All right, well, let's have this conversation this morning. I want to take you in the theater of your mind to an image of a very fertile field of dark, rich, and moist soil. If you can imagine a field, a giant field, maybe like a farmer's field of rich, thick, moist soil, You've heard the statement, the metaphor, man, I left it on the field today. I left it all on the field. Man, he went out there, he left it all on the field. Man, she, man, when she's at work, that girl, she leaves it all on the field. You know, that guy, dude, that guy leaves it all on the field. We know what this means. We understand what this means. This basically is a way to describe when someone truly does give all they can possibly give to whatever endeavor that they have committed themselves to, leaving it all on the field. Now, when you are leaving it all on the field, another metaphor that we are all familiar with is this idea of blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. When we think of blood, sweat, and tears, what we are thinking of is someone operating at their maximum capacity to the point of suffering and challenge and strain, blood, sweat, and tears. These three elements are not unfamiliar ingredients to entrepreneurs and business owners, and especially to the harvest field that I know the best, real estate where you realize very quickly that the doctor gets paid whether you live or die, the attorney gets paid whether you go free or go to jail, and you, my realtor friend, only get paid if you produce the result, and many times you can race to the finish line and fall one inch before the finish line and not be compensated because of something outside of your control. So realtors know blood, sweat, and tears. Realtors know what it means to leave everything on the field. And here's the encouragement that I want to leave with you this morning. And it is simply this, that when you truly do, when was the last time you had the blood, sweat, and tears? When was the last time that you literally poured yourself out your very best, not just in effort, but in the correct effort? in the activities that matter the most. Someone could knock on a thousand doors, but if their conversation is, hey, y'all don't want to sell nothing, do you? That extra effort doesn't mean anything without the excellence of the skill. So it's not just effort, it's the excellence of the skill. When was the last time in the excellence of your skill you literally left it all on the field or you literally dealt with blood, sweat, and tears? When was the last time you did this? Both of these metaphors bring the understanding of someone operating at their fullest capacity to the point of literal physical exhaustion. When you leave it all on the field, when you have the blood, sweat, and tears, this is the image of a true warrior and a champion because the mediocre do not push themselves to the point of sheer exhaustion. And here's the encouragement I want to leave with you. You are doing this on the field. The field you're leaving it all on, that blood, sweat, and tears, they are seeds planted that will produce a harvest of your next level if you are faithful to continue to sow those seeds. A farmer cannot throw the seeds in the field one day and then forget about them. Well, I planted seeds for eight hours. I'm sorry, Mr. Farmer. That's not the same as planting seeds an hour a day, 
every day and then watering and fertilizing those seeds over time. There is a consistency of execution and with a consistency of execution of not only effort and energy but the excellence in the skill set. The 20% stuff, as we would talk about it, that produces the 80% of your results. Those blood, sweat, and tears become seeds that are sown that produce a harvest for you to take you to the next level. If you're not pouring out your very best at this level, you get to stay on that level. There is not an advancement for you. And the, the key focus with this Voice of One Coaching is simply this, and it's what I intend to impart. Be careful what you are saying no to when you are saying yes to where you are planting the blood, sweat, and tears. What is not getting your attention because of what is getting your attention? Because many people that I've been in contact with over many, many years have studied and executed the science of achievement at the cost of their health at the cost of their family, at the cost of important relationships. And that, my friend, Zig Ziglar, my mentor, would say is not true success. True success is that when you, you, you do have the things that money can buy, some of the things that money can buy, but you have all of the things that money cannot buy. Zig would say that money can buy you a bed. It can't buy you a good night's sleep. Money can buy you a house. It will not buy you a home. Money can buy you a companion. It will not buy you a friend. When you are leaving your blood, sweat, and tear on that field, know that what you are saying yes to, exerting all of your energy in that endeavor, know that to say yes to that, you're saying no to something else and be aware of what that is because the blood and the sweat and the tears are seeds being sown into fertile soil that will yield a harvest for you. So I ask you today, are you even sowing those seeds? You see, the natural human tendency is to push just hard enough till it gets uncomfortable and then to back off. And I end on this story. If you do not intend to be that normal human being that backs off when it gets really tough. And it's a true story of Muhammad Ali in his heyday when the paparazzi was visiting with him as he was training before a big match at a hotel in Las Vegas. And one of the reporters had his microphone and said, champ, how many sit-ups do you do a day, champ? There's legends about it. How many sit-ups do you do a day, champ? And they handed the microphone to Muhammad Ali to which he replied, I have no idea how many sit-ups I do every day. And they said, now champ, that can't be accurate. We know you watch your numbers. We know you know your numbers. How can you tell us that? And he said, I don't know how many sit-ups I do every day. And they said, champ, you've got to be kidding. I mean, you do count your sit-ups, don't you, champ? And he said, yes, I count my sit-ups. Well, then how many do you do a day? And he said, I don't know. And they said, champ, why are you toying with us? You just said you count your sit-ups, but you won't tell us how many sit-ups you do every day. What's the story? And Muhammad Ali stopped what he was doing. He pointed his finger and said, because here's how I do it. I start doing sit-ups and when it hurts like hell and I can't do anymore, I say one, two, three. You see, when other men are ready to stop and quit, that's when I start counting. That, my friend, is blood, sweat, and tears. That, my friend, are the seeds that are sown into the fertile soil that will produce your next level harvest. And I will be sad to say, most people, don't have any seeds that they're planting because they push just hard enough and then back off. Just hard enough and then back off. Just hard enough where the blood and the sweat and the tears are about to be sown into that fertile soil for you to advance. You don't advance because you want to. You don't advance because you hope to. You advance because you deserve to because of the seeds that have been sown and your faithfulness to sow consistently. So I ask you, my friend, are you sowing seeds today? Or are you just looking at another field where a harvest is, where seeds may have been planted for years? You get to decide. Have a great day, guys.